Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center at ivymasters.com. Today we're going to look at Test 5, Section 3, Number 9, which reads, If x, y is the solution to the system of equations above and x is greater than 0, what is the value of x, y? One thing you want to um, make sure that you take note of is it's asking you for x, y. Typically, they'll give you the value for x in the answer choice, they'll give you the value for y in the answer choices, and of course they'll give you the right answer, which is x times y. So what's the easiest way to do this system? It tells us we're doing a system plus. Anytime you have two equations, typically you are doing a system. Well, your y equals x squared. So in place of y, you're going to put x squared in the second equation. And we get 2 times x squared. It's an ugly x squared, but it is an x squared plus 6 equals 2 times x plus 3. And it's 2x squared plus 6. Distribute the 2 on the other side. Don't forget to distribute it to the 3. <clears throat> and what you see here is if you subtract 6 from both sides, the 6s are gone. Now there's two ways to solve this at this point. The easy way, what most students will probably do, is divide by x, both sides by x, cancel, and you get 2x equals 2, and then divide both sides by 2. 2's cancel on the left. x equals 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1, so x equals 1. Now keep in mind it's asking you for x, y. So we've got to say y equals 1 squared. So y equals 1 as well. So if x equals 1, y equals 1, what's x times y? 1 times 1, it's 1. So your answer is A. Now, one thing that you want to keep in mind is if you do this step right here, I'm going to write that over again, 2x squared equals 2x. The method that we just use, you actually don't see one of the answers. And you might be able to eyeball it and say, hey, if x is 0, then both sides are equal as well. But in order to do that, remember, typically you're setting quadratics equal to 0. If you subtract a 2x from both sides, you get 2x squared minus 2x equals 0. And what's the greatest common factor there that you can pull out? You can pull out a 2x. And when you open up the parentheses, you get x minus 1 equals 0. And now you have two equations, 2x equals 0, x minus 1 equals 0. And if you divide both sides by 2 over here, you get x equals 0. Add 1 to both sides here, and you get x equals 1. But remember, x has got to be greater than 0, so that's why 1 is our solution. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble with systems of equations, especially ones that involve quadratics. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.